Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Tom Mizzou. You're watching my channel, Mr. 14, and I'm here doing a review of Family or Fiance, the episode of Imani and Kobe. Yes, Family Fiance is back. It's still the season one, and it's continuing with more couples. I have, since Family Fiance had first started, I have been doing every review of each couple. So, play my playlist, go to Family Fiance, and check out all the reviews of the couples and my input, my opinions about the couples so far. I'll post a playlist on this video so y'all can be able to click it on the video and see the other playlists of my other couples. Alright, so Imani and Kobe. Alright, so they've been together for 10 months. They met on a dating app. They swipe left, swipe right, whatever they're swiping. They met, they match, they like each other. And they've been together for 10 months. They got engaged and they got to be engaged for two months right now. They plan to get married early next year. Which I guess this was 2019 and when they was taping because early next year was 2020 because they set the date to January 20th, 2020. So the taping was around 2019. So early next year and they here to get the blessings. Now if y'all don't know, know the format of Family Fiance, Family Fiance comes on own. Is a, it comes right after Love and Marriage Huntsville on Saturdays on own around 8 and 9 o'clock. It's a three day event. They, the family, get together, have three days, and they go through any activities, questions, interventions, conversations, anything they need to do for the three days to make sure the family get comfortable with the boom, with the boom, <laughs> with the bride and the groom, and see if they decide to stay together or decide to split apart. Based on the interaction, based on the experience with the family. They will do three days. They do a family meeting. They do a task. They do a couple of check-ins with Tracy. Tracy McMillan. She's the relationship coach. And then relationship marriage coach. And then at the end, they give the blessings. Whether they give all yeses or no. Some families, some couples stay together. Some couples do not stay together. Some couples decided they go against the blessings. And they go stay together no matter what. It is what it is. We got different things. Alright, so let's jump into it. So, Amani's 25 and he's 32. And right off the bat, they, in the title mentioned, they are atheists. Now, if you don't know, it's different levels of atheists, but the most, majority of it is that they don't believe in the higher power. They don't believe in God, the spiritual being up there. They really don't really have a religion as much of seeing what's the higher power. Because they don't believe it, they don't participate in it. Now, it's, it's funny that Kobe is an atheist, but he grew up as a preacher's kid. His family was lines of preachers in the church setting. So the fact that he came out of that to become an atheist, because he said he read things in the Bible that was contradictory, how it was slavery in the Bible, and how they go condemn slaves in the Bible, and how slaves ask for forgiveness when they allow this to happen. If God is supposed to be the Almighty and the good one, how this happens. It's all that. They'll question all that stuff. Imani wasn't an atheist before she met Kobe. And it led to the family belief that he influenced her to change her religion. To change things. Now, I'm not going to try to go deep into religion. I don't really go into that deep in my channel. But that's what the topic of this conversation about how she converted. And she wasn't challenge she wasn't challenging her religion before she got with Kobe but what she got with him it was one time there was at dinner table and she asked to bless the food and that blessing didn't happen because he turned that into so oh why are we gonna come and bless the food when they are a child out there who died because they ain't get food they ain't get hunger how that person happened so how what's the blessing about that if other people is not eating I was like, okay, I mean, yes, granted, there are kids out there who don't get food and everything, they die of hunger, deprivation and stuff, but how you turn that into a non-playing ceremony and not having her converted into atheism? So right now, they both are atheists, and she questions that, and now they're trying to see like if he's the one that forced her into do it, but... She was like, no, he didn't force me. I always had a mindset, but if you didn't met Kobe and you was never challenging your religion, 
now all of a sudden you got with him, then you become atheist. So at least want to believe that you was influenced by him with that and you wanna please him to the point that all right, my man wanna be this, he like this, this is gonna make him happy, that I'm gonna follow suit. And that's how it seems, and that's how it perceived to us, and that's how the viewers see it, is that you just went along with that. It seemed like you were going along with a lot of things that he wants. And what about what you want? Now, you know, each family, each couple get three people, family members that come to share the experience with them. So Imani's side got her, his, her sister Ariel, her mother Diva, and her cousin Trent. And then Kobe's side is that Delicia, I call Delicia. It's her. She had a long name. She all called Danny. So Danny is the sister, and then Alex the brother, and then it was Clarence the cousin. Now, Kobe family took Amani in. They was open. They treated her family. They was cool. But they issues that, especially Danny the sister, feel like that. Amani family is not opening and not open minded about Kobe. Accepting him who he is and what he is about and That's troubling she and most of the other family members in the family do not agree that They don't believe in religion. They don't believe in high power. They don't believe in God now They have that foundation of living in God then what God is and what viewpoints or what standards are you moving forward or all your guidelines with the principles are you following in your life because it's going to be different things now i think he's doing that because he don't really understand it to find the truth find further so just because you didn't understand that you find something there doesn't mean that it's not possible and maybe he might find another religion he might not believe in christianity maybe it could be something else but if you don't believe there's a higher power which i think he do believe it's something there but he just don't understand what's the point of it to the point that you don't understand and it's, you learn something, you need to unlearn it to find a deeper meaning, to find understanding so you can have that that purpose, the passion, the passion to find something, a spirituality, whatever it is. It's not it is what it is. You want to be atheist, you be atheist, but it's come to the point when it's it's hard. Especially when you have families that is grounded with that to have to deal with you. When you are just not participating, you don't want to bless, you want to pray, you find any contradiction, and then sometimes you want to use it to debate other people when you not supposed, you not practicing yourself. That's like hard. So that's the point of it. And they already don't see that's that. So Tracy gave them tasks. Imani's task is to do dinner, do food shopping, and with Kobe family and make dinner. Kobe's task is to do Tower of Truth, open honest, truthfully as possible. He said he gonna open beauty honest. I said don't go beautiful with them, y'all. And he mentioned that he liked to challenge. He likes to challenge. He wants to challenge. He wants to fight. So he likes it. And he gives, he drives off to that because he wants that. And it was like he said it's a good thing. And Imani said, I don't want him to push it and don't cross the boundaries of fighting too much and challenge them. Because in his mind, it's like, he's accepting that. They resisting? I like that resistance. Because I could challenge them back. And I was like, it's not a figure competition. It's not in a boxing match. You're trying to understand and have a common ground with each other. Not to fight each other to have some animosity and hostility that you can't freaking come to the understanding or listen to each other what their concerns are all right so they had a family meeting and ariel believed that and the mother also believed that kobe has a heavily especially ariel heavily influence influence of imani because ariel think that she suggested things to imani way before she met kobe and she would say that she's okay or it's all right, oh yeah, I understand, I understand that, but never budge and then make a never make progress, movements towards it. So she got with Kobe and he said this one thing, she jumped like right quick. It's like how high. And it's one thing I'll mention that I'm gonna talk about that. Now the family meeting. The reason why they find atheism, because they find contradiction in the Bible, so they don't believe that. 
that's it. They, the family do believe that, they don't believe that she was a contemplating converting. Because it was, it's crazy how you wasn't challenging it, but all of a sudden you got one from him and then you just change. So obviously you was thinking about, you was thinking about challenging it. And now you found someone who was able to push you to that ledge and you went along with it. Now, I don't know if she went along with it because she wanted to please him, which I think she is doing that. She wanted to please him as much because she loses a part of herself to please him. And I don't really care for that as much. So, family meeting, they feel like it's a quick engagement, which it is. To after 10 months, you got to engage that quick. Come on, you don't have an understanding of knowing each other, having that obstacles, having that milestones that you should go through before you get engaged. Ten months is not enough for you to know somebody. And you're still learning that person. I like it's no relationship with God. A lot of them feel the same way. It's like because you don't have a relationship with God, it's crazy because when Imani introduced Kobe to the family, to the mother, he asked for the hand of blessing, hand for marriage, and she asked to get married in church. She said no. She's not getting married in church. They don't believe in that. They don't want to do that. So, that's kind of, They don't want to have that. And that's why make the mother feel type of way about that. Okay. Alright. So, do the midst of doing do their tasks. It might explain why she convert, how she feels, the contradiction in the Bible. It's kind of similar to what Kobe was saying to the family. And while... Kobe was talking his thing. Now, he did talk that they mentioned the dating app. Now, Ari was taken aback because her sister Imani told her that they met at a club. Because I guess Imani was bad to say that she was met in a dating app. You met in a dating app? You met in a dating app. It is what it is. All right? Now, it was something that was mentioned. He mentioned something about her teeth. Because at the second date they was together, he mentioned that are you contemplating getting braces because you will look look cuter if you got braces and having braces which fix your teeth will give you two points higher so you are in a point system so two points higher for what and he didn't seem anything wrong with his honesty now, granted, you got your preference. You like who, what you like. Yes, you like what you like. You may not accept someone. You may not like somebody who's heavy set. You don't want to deal with that person who's heavy set. It's fine. It's your preference. But don't get with the person. Got to force hope and then tell them that you need to change something order me to continue on with you. Now, if he had to go through all that, that's, that's embarrassing. And that's respectful because that's offensive. Oh, you will look cuter if you got braces and you will be two points higher. And Imani feel like she ain't take no fist to it because she always wanted to get braces herself. But you did jump on getting braces before until you got with Kobe. Until he said that, then you got on and getting the braces. Now, he did say that, oh, if she didn't go along and getting the braces... Then he want to continue on dating her. I said, "Wow!" And he's find no he find no shame with that. He did not find that a disrespectful at all. He says nothing wrong with that. I'm telling the truth. I'm very straightforward, and that's how it. That's how it is. She didn't want to go along with it. I'm not gonna date her anymore. And I said that's kind of messed up to have her say that she had to go change something. Her parents. And it's not about the braces. Now, he was going on and on about that. Oh, they're going on with the braces. They keep going on with that. They keep going on with that. But you missing the point is. The point it wasn't about the braces. The point is, is that you are basing your relationship with this girl as the way to her to test her loyalty and change it herself to please you. Now, listen to me. I'm proud and I'm not I'm not ashamed of it. Look at my teeth. I got one good gap right there. All my teeth is together except for this thing and I've been had that since I was little and I love it because it brings my smile I love the smile and that thing is a beautiful mark on me people say it's good 
Now, if I met somebody who want to date me and tell me that I need to get that clothes or I need to have braces or I won't be with you anymore or something like that, I would say, no, I'm not doing that. Because if I ain't get braces all that long time, I'm 34 years old right now. If I ain't get braces when I was a teenager when I could have had the braces, I'm not getting braces now and I don't see anything wrong with my gap right here, the teeth. It look good on me. I like it. People, some people like it. But if you don't like it, that's on you. It's fine. But don't say that what you're saying and telling me well, I need to change something is not offensive. It is offensive. Because you try to tell me I need to change something to order you to be with me. And that's how it is. So in mine, it felt like she didn't say, oh, no, no. Nah. And it seemed like she was doing that a lot. She was like protecting his, protecting him. Well, that's your fiance. That's fine. But you was like protecting and taking up for him. And stuff that is deemed to be a problem. And Tracy brought it up. She was like, listen, that's kind of, that's an issue. Because you making it seem like you kind of controlling and it could be something down that long line where you got to compromise to other to please the person for them to continue on. Now, what if it'll be the point where you don't want to compromise and then you don't want to compromise? How will you go through? What y'all would do? It will be impasse. It's like, okay, y'all in a standstill. Because you come to the point that you will get tired of changing yourself for the person. So, the fact that he just threw that all off and said, like, oh, it's not a problem, it's not a problem. Now, Danny, his sister, was like, listen, everybody got preference. Yes, you could have a preference. You could have a preference. But don't don't put them in a point system saying this and that. And do you got to do this. You got to change that. You got to do this for to be with, be with them. Now, if you don't want to deal with that, just don't want to deal with that. And don't move forward with the person. But don't sit there and start dating them and then tell them they got to change something before you continue on. That's messed up. That's not right. And I would not like that either. I would not. What about she would say, oh, you don't have enough muscles for me. You need to have a little bit more muscles and more sit back, a toned sit back, sit back belly, a toned body, muscle up. Or you will be three points higher. How you would like that? What about if she would say that your D is not big enough for me? You need to get some more lift to your D. Or I can't be with you. Get some more lift or we're not going to be together. What you would, how you would take that? I bet you will not like that. So the fact that. That and he also is a emotional. He's. He emotional unavailable. He's not really emotive as that. He don't. He said he logical, and he don't go by emotions. So he can't really sit down and have a conversation with someone who lead by their emotions because it's gonna be clash. He's straightforward, and that's it. And he don't want to deal with that emotions. And I said, okay, well, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Tell now, Tracy did test in mind to have a sit down for her sister because it seemed like it's a just disconnect between Imani and her sister Ariel. And they had a beach day and Imani, made, Imani brought up that your, her sister always is about her. She always speaks to her by herself and she don't listen to other people. So it's hard to connect with my sister when she always like, oh it's me, 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 me. And it was about me. You don't want to hear it. So her sister Took that hard, but she understands. And she cried a little bit. She said she understands because she want to get close to her sister. She going to take that. And she's like, listen, all right, we're going to work hard better and not just be over self be self-centered and be there as a sister. But that's something else. That's crazy. Um. So Imani... It's like she wants the sister and her fiance to get along because it will make it beneficial for her to not have to work so hard to have this thing behind her shoulder when she's trying to make this work, but you're not putting the effort into making that better, the better the relationship. Because I want my family to have a relationship if we're gonna be together. So he sat down with Ariel and they talk. And he said, I, I'm trying to sit there and tell you that I understand how you was coming from yesterday and all that stuff. And she said, you really don't say because I, I feel this negative. I feel this energy from you. And it's still the same. Oh, he said, oh, well, 
if you gonna judge me and the Bible said you should be like that and all that stuff. She was like, how you gonna quote something from the Bible like that? Especially you don't even understand it. And they use that as a defense mechanism. So you could say, you could check me. That's not go away, boo-boo. And I said, yeah, that's right. I was like, okay. So their conversation was not as well. Because they was like, okay, what is going on with these two? She's not here for she not here for him. He's done with this conversation. I was there. I was like, wow, you're not making any effort. And he's thinking that he gave him much that he could. And that's what Trace is sensing that you think you gave much as you could. But what you're giving is not enough. It might even come to realizations that it was harder than she expected. She thought everything would be peace and cream. It was going to be okay to get their blessings. But now she was like, it's meant more for her to get the blessings more now than it was before. And she really wants this to work. It would mean a lot for her to get married to her fiance that the family is behind. But the fact they're not in the same page, it's kind of hurting her a little bit. And... She so he was like, do you need to? Do you want me to be more more emotional and vulnerable? Cause he said the only person he'd be emotional and vulnerable was Imani. Other people he not. But I'll say, well, you gotta have that a little bit. Nobody say you gotta be open to everyone, but you do gotta have that sense of sense of wanting to be or wanting to work things out and have a camaraderie with the family members. Because you need to have that sometimes. It's like, it'd be hard when you don't have family supporting back of you. And you have that tension. Because now you're going to wonder when, can you go to this person's house? Can you not go to this person's house? You got kids. Who going to be a man? This is like, it's going to be a tension. And it's not a, that's not going to happen. What else I got to say about that is that I feel like he is a little bit manipulative and controlling. And the fact that if they don't nip this on the butt, it will be problems in the future. It will be problems to the point that he go suggest things, and she go bend and just jump high, high, and and do what he wants. And it gonna be the point that she gonna get tired of doing that. She gonna get tired because she's like, it's all about you, 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 and I'm changing for you, but you're not making no effort to change for me. So where's the common ground? So the blessing ceremony was at the end, and four people but two gave their blessing. The two people who didn't get their blessings was the mother, Diva, and their sister, Ariel. And Imani and Kobe decided to still make it work. And you could tell his face. He was so emotionless. He didn't really care much. He didn't really care to do a lot of the stuff. He was just saying what he had to say. He was trying to get his appointment course. His word is the word. And that's that. So... It was that. They set the date for next year in January. And they get married. Decided to get married at the courthouse. So I wish them luck. I mean I don't see much of the future with them. If they don't change. Especially in this point. To make the compromise. And if he's not compromising. Then what's the point of that relationship? So that was Family Fiance y'all. I think it's another one. So I'm about to go check and see if it's another episode. Because this Romani and Kobe was premiered earlier. Than the Saturday premiere. So, it might be the same episode, it might be a different one. If it's a different one, you will see another video of that. But, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Tell me how y'all feel about this episode. What would, what would be your approach if somebody tell you you need to change yourself to please someone else? Do you believe in religion? Do you, will, be, will, will you be with someone who's an atheist? Tell me how y'all feel and I'll talk to y'all later, alright? Peace.